Viewer discretion is advised. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? This Bad Boys for Life review was filmed on location. What's going on, movie fans? Welcome back to J-Buck Studios, your home of reviews, reactions, and ridiculousness. Anyways, though, went out to the theater and saw the new installment in the Bad Boys franchise. You know, it's been quite a few years. Bad Boys for life. Old school cops Mike Laurie and Marcus Burnett team up to take down the vicious leader of a Miami drug cartel. So does Bad Boys for Life steer this Bad Boys franchise in the right direction? Let's find out. But before we get into my thoughts, let me know what you guys thought of Bad Boys for Life, if you've already checked this movie out, or if you're very much looking forward to it this weekend. Now let's get into some of the good. So I actually rewatched or watched for the first time all the way through the first two Bad Boys, Bad Boys 1 and 2 this week, just to get, you know, refreshed for this Bad Boys for Life. And those movies were very much a product of their time, a product of Michael Bay. And I think that this Bad Boys for Life took what was good in those films but then kind of discarded or forgot about some of the ridiculous over-the-top Michael Bay content but then supplemented it for some better material or some shots and just a style that was very much different and I liked how they paid somewhat of homage to those two movies even though this is all in one coherent franchise but then kind of you know having these callbacks like there's a little callback here a little callback there little jokes you know people that are fans of the franchise are going to find these little things and very much you know they're going to connect on that so i liked how they did that in this movie but the two things that really stood out to me were the chemistry between lawrence and smith in this movie obviously the last one correct me if i'm wrong came out in 2004 so this has been 16 years since they've even played these roles since they've been in a movie together Together. and I thought that they came back into this and did a fairly good job I mean the first 45 minutes it's maybe a little rockier I would say that the that part of the movie kind of resembles bad boys one and two but then the later half of the film very much goes in this different direction but they their quips back and forth the just the fun banter and one-liners that they have between each other as characters are kind of you know what's what is the core and soul of this film and unlike the previous two they added in sort of this other team that they have to work with this ammo team and it's Vanessa Hudgens uh, Pyla Nunez I believe I'm probably butchering her name but then a few other characters and they don't have these major roles but they have such a certain amount of presence in the film that I really enjoyed it. They had the perfect amount of, you know, what to do, what to say, what to blow up, what to shoot. And I liked how they had this sort of sub team with them going through this franchise. But then getting into the action and the comedy, I would say the Bad Boys 1 and 2, they very much almost do these sketches in between all of the action and the action is crazy. I would say that the action in this film is very much toned down, but it's awesome. I mean, it starts off with this car chase or just a car flying down the streets of Miami but then there's other shootout scenes like there's this one slow-mo shot I'm pretty sure it's in the trailer it's a slow-mo shot pink uh, spray paint and Will Smith just scooting by shooting people like it is a very stylized but action oriented film and I thought that the I wouldn't say cho uh, fight choreography but the action choreography or the action set pieces were shot fairly well and then the comedy is sprinkled into this film perfectly as well. I would say that, you know, they do those callbacks that I mentioned before, but also the one-liners between all of the characters are some of the comedic, I wouldn't say genius, but the comedic elements in this film. Getting into the cons, I mean, this was a fun action movie. I had laughs, I had a fun time, I was smiling, I was laughing. Again, there was these emotional beats that they really threw into the movie that I, I was thoroughly surprised by. But the story, the way that they took this story was risky. I say that they took some chances on the story. Not all of them land. Some uh, some story beats do land. But I thought that, again, it was a very risky maneuver. This is not going to sit with everyone of the franchise. Some people are going to honestly think that it's very cheesy and not pick up on those emotional beats. I thought it thoroughly worked, 
maybe about 50% of the time. Thoroughly is maybe pushing it too much. Overall, Bad Boys for Life, you know, comes back after a 16 year hiatus, and I think that it nailed this movie. With it having homages to the first two, the chemistry between the characters, adding in new characters, and this great blend of action and comedy, but with some story beats that are not gonna land with everyone. I mean, I'd recommend going out and checking out Bad Boys for Life. If you're looking for a crazy, fun, action, comedy, you know, blockbuster, this honestly feels like a summer movie coming out in January. So if you're looking, if you're a fan of the first two or looking for any sort of that, go check out Bad Boys. In closing, I'm gonna give Bad Boys for Life 3.2 out of 5. Bad Boys, Bad Boys. So what did you guys think of Bad Boys for Life if you've already checked it out or if you're very much looking forward to this movie in the next coming weeks? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd be curious, you know, if you're a fan of the franchise or if you're very much looking forward to this one. Anyways, though, thank you so much for watching. Watch some more videos up there or right over there. Brand new movie reviews, trailer reactions, comedy skits, all sorts of stuff on the JB channel or actually the J Buck Studios channel. I'm still getting used to that. Big name change. There was a channel update check out all the new stuff coming to this channel follow my social media like this video share this video and until next time i'll see you later